Hello, I'm Greg, and it's time for another tunnel take. Sitting on the back tailgate of my truck here. Smoking some of the um, the walnut maple pie. Gosh, it's hard to get away from this stuff. Smoking it in the uh, Valen, Fowen that uh, Hyper Dave uh, gifted me. Thanks, Dave. Uh, and uh, you know the worst thing about this tobacco is when I start smoking it, my my saliva glands start going in overdrive. Dang, going this stuff is stuff is good. I've never had tobacco that does this to me. Anyway, I'm down here to uh, Miss Joyce's house and. Uh, Rick and Miss Joyce were married for a long time, and uh, and um, uh, I got to know Rick probably about I don't know, ten years ago, fifteen years ago, something like that. And her, him, and her both, you know, just from just from advertising that I did, and, and I started working for him and all, done a lot of work for these guys. And um, so Rick, Rick back then he was probably eighty years old. Yeah, he's probably 80 years old when I got first got into him. Anyway, he died last year. Coming up on a coming up on a year. Yeah. Yeah. And uh So anyway, uh I was with me and Miss Joyce were just standing in the yard a while ago and and uh well, actually before lunch, I just got I just got back from eating lunch and I'm just sitting here during the lunch break type thing and smoking a pipe. Uh, and um, she walks up to the back of my truck and says, oh, your family. She walks over to the, to the, to the, to the, to, I'll show you a picture of the back of my truck. She says, uh, oh, the family. Uh, she said, she gets it closer to it. She says, oh, it's guns. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's my family. <laughs> One gun for, for each parent and child. And uh, and um, so she's looking. She's looking at the back of the truck, and she sees my YTPC sticker on the back glass. And uh, she said, "Oh, now I, I start talking to her about the pipe community, the, the YTPC, and uh, YouTube pipe community, and um." And she said, wow, okay. So she was kind of intrigued. And uh, she said, Rick has pipes. And I still got them. She said, you want them? I said, holy smokes, that would be awesome. See, a lot of you guys have family members, dads, granddads, whatever, that you got their pipes when they died and, and, and you smoke them and, and it's just a reminiscent thing, you know. And I don't have anything like that. And... Uh, So, um, yeah, she uh, she said, come on inside. So we went inside, and she went in the back back there and pulled them out and uh, brought them out here to me. And I was like, wow. So uh, let me show you a picture of Miss Joyce and me. This is us. And um, uh, so, yeah, here's the uh, here's the pipes in the, in the humidor, I guess you would call this box right here. They're, they're little pipes. Look at that. I haven't looked at the I haven't looked at names of anything or anything like that. This is stamped some oh crap. Yeah, no way in the world I'll read that. Um that's an odd looking thing. Never seen a pipe shaped like that. Got a little looks like a club symbol on it. And um, there's a bulldog with some of the etch marks, kind of like a, um, kind of like a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, forget the name of the pipe, but not as, not as heavy as, as marked up as in pipes are. 
Um, here's one. It's kind of marked up pretty good. Huh. Small pipes, though, overall. Tasting pipes, that we'll call them. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can have some longer stems made for one of them at least, yeah. But I, I thought that was really cool for her to think of me like that. Really, really. They'll be treasured for sure. The two of them have stingers and one of them has, has a, a filter. And they got some old filter boxes in here. And Medico. And uh, some, some uh, pipe cleaners and just like that. And Mr. Joyce said, what is this? <laughs> I said, that's a check tool. An uh, old Rogers check tool. I've never, never seen anything like that before. Made in the USA. It's heavier than the check tools that, that we know today, that's for sure. It's about, not twice as thick, but darn near it. Yeah, the worst thing about this tobacco is my saliva glands kick in and I got to swallow in between puffs. So anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm putting this, this birdhouse up. I want you to see this thing. Uh, there it is. Let me show you a little something here. Um, how this thing works, how the pole works. Um... Can you see the, yeah, yeah, you can see it. Of course, it's all leveled, and, uh, and, I, and I, I seeded it in the, uh, I set it in the uh, the uh, concrete this morning, and uh, and then went for lunch and let it sit up. But, um, yeah, my mic's on. <laughs> um, how it works, it's got this bolt right here. This bolt goes all the way through the pole. And then, this pole goes inside of it, and like so, and it's got and it's got this little uh, stop type screw. To, it's kind of like a set screw, and um, and uh, which will which will make it where when you when you when you're getting ready to bring the whole the whole pole down so you can clean out the the birdhouse at the end of the year, you would take that bolt out right there. Loosen this and, and telescope it down into this pole, and then ne the next section has is, is the same way. After you telescope it down, you'll tighten this back up, and it'll hold that pole in place. You don't want that pole to fall into the other one. It may be lost forever, but probably not. And this pole here is about as long about as long as that one. So, um, so, uh, so maybe you'll be able to reach it in there. Anyway, so yeah, so that's how that works. Neat little system they got going on there. Um, yeah. Rick and Miss Joyce, great folks. Yeah. They were always great folks, so they'd have to give me a thing to be great folks. Gosh, that makes my mouth water. Cobblestone. Walnut maple pie. Whew. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um. Yeah, I was talking to Miss Joyce while I go, and or well, this morning earlier, and uh. I said, you sure don't want to keep keep one of these one of these pipes for old time's sake? And she said, no, no. Uh, she said, I'm 69 now, and it's just time to, I've reached this point in my life where I'm just a get rid of it type time. She said, I've, I've, I've heard so many, so many people talk about their children having to, it cost them thirty thousand dollars just to get where they could sell the house 
you know, cleaning it all out and fixing it up. She said she didn't want to do that to her children. I was like, wow. I remember uh, my my uh, my wife's granddad would say sometime he would want me to fix some things or something, and he would say, "Just do it this way, Greg. It'll last. It'll last until I'm dead." And that always struck me as a short-sighted thing. But anyway, everybody's got their their stuff, and they can do with what do with the stuff they got what they want to. I find myself swallowing more than I do puffing. Yeah, short sightedness. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of that that goes on. Uh, and that's why, that's what makes Freedom Friday so important today. Yesterday wasn't as important as it is today. Yesterday, yesterday, the yesterdays, the yesteryears, and all. It wasn't that big a thing, you know. Shoot, you know. You know, we, st we, we were put along, you know, as far as the society goes. But, uh, but like I say, these, these days demand a, uh, a stand to be taken. Yeah, it really does. And, and, and we have to start pushing for freedom, personal freedoms that, that we need to have, not only just to smoke a pipe, but on and on and on and on. And what it is, 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 is these people like me, they have some insight as to what's, what's happening today and what it, where is that taking us for the future? Some people, apparently, they don't care about the future. You know, They're like, well, I'm going to live my life today, and uh, who cares about tomorrow? Who cares about children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren's future? You know? Those are the people that say, well, stop talking about anything except but pipes and tobacco on, on, on YouTube. You know, what? Jeez. They're perfectly fine with the direction our country is going or the world is going. They're perfectly fine with it. Because they, they, they're going to they're gonna outlive it. Who cares? Who cares about the future? Not me. Mm -mm. I do care about the future. So they don't, they don't hear anything about politics or spiritual beliefs of any kind or any kind of ideology. You know, they don't, they don't want to hear that. And they'll even get on their channel and say, they, say I'm, I'm tired of hearing it. Let's, let's don't be talking about it. Well, how about just unsubscribe? There's an unsubscribe button right there in front of you right now. Just unsubscribe to the channel. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear anything other than pipes and tobacco. Just unsubscribe to it. But no, that's not good enough. They don't. They, it's not only that they don't want to hear it, and what, what they really don't want to hear, they don't want to hear your politics, your religion. They want to hear theirs. Same, these are the same type of people that uh, mouth uh, tolerance and stuff like that. Tolerance, uh huh. Yeah. They want to dictate to the whole community what we're supposed to be talking about. They don't. It's not only that they don't want to hear it. They don't want you to hear it either. They don't want you to hear it. Who in the world are you? Who do you think you are? <laughs> who do you think you are? Our community is full of little dictators. You know, geez, I'm for freedom. Holy smokes. Mm. Gotta swallow again. Um... Paper Dave 2023. I'm going to put a link to the video he had yesterday in the description. If you don't watch it, you need to you need to up your freedom game. Like he said, holy smokes! When I got, I, I watched that video, I watched that video five, four or five times on the way back home from that job, and uh, and uh, it, it was just phenomenal. It, it is. It's a declaration written up by 200 some active military personnel right now. And they want to bring to justice the military people who pushed the whole COVID-19 crap on it, who, who violated our constitutional rights. 
the things that our military are supposed to protect. And they want to bring him to court martial. Yeah. Watch that uh, video. Dave ex reads it all out to you. And it doesn't take long, you know. And well worth the listening to. Well worth, oh, well, well, vitally important to listen to. I thank you, Dave. I really do. I can't, I can't thank you enough for, for what you do for, uh, for freedom, for the community, the piping community. I thank you. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Freedom. Freedom to smoke a pipe. Freedom to talk about something other than pipes and tobacco on your channel. <laughs> I, it's amazing. It's amazing to me how this this stuff rears its ugly head. How how in the world does that even, is that even a thing? How is that how is that even a thing? The, I don't get it. I don't get it. Controllers, they want to control the whole narrative. The whole, you know. Who are these? Who are the parents of uh of these folks that um that run YouTube and and um and Twitter back in the day? You know that wanted to just control everything what people are saying. And 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 who who are who are the parents of these millennials that are out here, deadhead millennials that that we got so many of today? It's those types of people. It's those types of people, aimless, pointless. Wandering through life, I always thought was pipe smoking uh, gave itself to deep, deep thought. And you wonder if these people have a deep thought. I don't know. I, like I say, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I really don't. <laughs> Go on. I don't know what this tobacco does to me, but I don't mind it. <laughs> good stuff. I'm going to get this thing together. I think the cement's set up good enough. And, uh, get it together and hit on home. Thanks, Rick and Miss Joyce. This is good. this is special to me. I must say, this is special as as a pipe my dad would have given me if he smoked a pipe. You know, really. Y'all have a good afternoon. Happy Freedom Friday, y'all. Freedom, hey, you is is worth is worth speaking about. It really is. You know, without it, what do we have? We have somebody dictating us, a dictator, dictating us what we're supposed to be doing all the time. There is no personal freedoms among them people like that. There is none. There is none. I'll see you later. Bye now.